All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be talking about a Mr. Organic, man. I've been getting a lot of comments. A lot of people have been saying, how come I haven't been dropping any recent uh, reaction videos on Mr. Organic's uh, channel? Um, a lot of people feel like either Organic paid me off or somehow he silenced me or something like that. But that's not it, man. It's just a lot of his like recent content is just not that good. It's really not that good. Like, he dropped two videos. One was about some Corvette, right? And the other one about this truck. And I just started noticing, like, I guess because I've been watching some of Stunnerese's content recently, I noticed that um, Organic and Stunnerese pretty much upload the same content. They do the same exact content now. Especially when they go to these car shows or just whenever they're together. Whenever Organic is now leeching off Stunnerese or Stunnerese is leeching off Organic, they pretty much upload the same stuff. And it's kind of it kind of goes back to, um, you guys remember when uh, CJ on 32's, Marty Mar, and even Stunnerese and Rel kind of all like recorded the same stuff and it became kind of annoying. So that's kind of like the situation now with uh, Organic and Stunnerese. So... It just kind of cancels each other out. But uh, I noticed he's been doing a lot more podcast stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the one right there with the pink Corvette. Insane pink sweats, wide body, whatever, right? So he's been doing a lot of this podcast stuff. Um, he did one on this channel, Fool Notice, which I didn't even really bother. I saw a couple of minutes of it, but I was like, it's really not worth a reaction video so i was gonna do a reaction video on that but i was like nah it's not worthy really worth it because um one thing you'll notice about organic i'm sure you guys have too by the way shout out to a skinny srt he dropped this he's been dropping several reaction videos too um but yeah shout out to skinny srt but like i was saying like something you'll notice about organic and his podcast like um it's the same stuff. He talks about the same stories in every single podcast, whether it's like a two-year-old podcast interview or whatever, or three years old, or a recent one from like a month ago with a full notice. But here's the thing that um, is kind of confusing me. Like, how come he's never actually done a collab with his camera guy, Fareed? Why he's never promoted Fareed, for that matter? How come he's never promoted his own camera guy, a guy that was part of his inner circle. Like you, Farid has been stuck at 369 subscribers for a long time now. That's crazy. Organic can't even help him out. How come Organic isn't doing a collab with Farid? How come he didn't come on his podcast? That doesn't make sense to me. That's supposed to be his boy, right? And there's a bunch of these like, content creators where they've actually promoted their camera guys like cj on 32s um promotes his camera guy Corey ssg promoted his uh camera guy and i think his camera guy for um at one point i don't know if he still does because i don't really like keep up with ssg especially with all the drama he's got going on with his uh his wife or whatever carmen but he promoted his camera guy his camera guy became known and I think he has a channel or something like that. So it's kind of weird to me how... And even like Tall Guy. Tall Guy, right? Sway had a YouTube channel. They did collapse together. Tall Guy and his camera guy did collapse on his own channel. He promoted him on his channel. Um, but I've never seen Organic really shout out Fareed. Shit, he's never come on his podcast fully on. Um, and Fareed is really like struggling, man. He is really, damn, like, he's really trying to, he's really trying hard, man. It's just not, it's not working. Maybe if he had joined Organics Academy, maybe it would have helped a little bit. Because he's been stuck at 300 subscribers for, like, nearly two years since Organic fired him. How long has Organic fired him now? Like, probably, like, two years now? Taco and Shawarma, nothing new. Um, so this is his new, this is his new podcast. It's crazy, right? He, he keeps talking about how his podcast or whatever is going to be like Joe Rogan or some goofy stuff like this, that he's really good at talking 
Yeah, he's only good at talking on certain channels like Fresh and Fit, but Fresh and Fit already have their target audience. Organic just adds a little bit of whipped cream on top. But once he goes to like a, a not so great channel, he really doesn't really add a whole lot of value. He adds some value, but not a lot. Um, so this is his recent one. On the contrary, he's been on there. Let's actually play one of these lives. Um, Trusted me. So as time went on, they started um, asking me about relationship stuff, men, money, uh, sugar daddy stuff, all types of stuff. So like over the years, um, it just became too overwhelming. So I wrote a book. And, then and the first book was called? The M and Man is for Money. And that's this? Yeah. The <laughs> M and Man is for Money. <laughs> well, she's shaking out the dollars out there. Yeah. <laughs> This is gonna be a good episode. <laughs> so this is apparently like another relationship based channel, man. Like this is crazy. Like how many is he only working in this sector of podcasts? Like these podcasts that are based on relationships and dating and shit like that. Like, isn't that what Taco and Shawarma is? like supposedly a relationship based channel. She kind of started taking different like directions and how she does her content, but for the most part that's what it is. It's relationship stuff. Um and this one is also relationship stuff. Like she got this so what you guys heard uh, apparently they have a guest on the show and this is like a supposedly another relationship guru, right? That writes books and stuff. And her book is something about her book is just like she said the M and men stands for money. Wow. So that's that that kind of like just summarizes everything for you. The M and uh, the M and men, the the letter M and the word men stands for money. So go figure. So this is the content and organic is on here. Um, and what's kind of like strange or odd is like, you know, they talk about relationships in the black community, but organic doesn't even really date in his community. Organic, most of his relationships are outside of the community. So you have an expert on the panel that doesn't even re really date in his own community, even as current soulmate or partner or whatever she's not even in the community that he's in or he's the one he's talking in and the most of the time he's even kind of talked down about women that is from his own background he said he would never date those women that's why he loves to take um he calls them what he's calling bunnies right snow bunnies organic loves white girls asians latinas so, I mean, and this isn't like me saying this stuff. This stuff is well documented on his channel. If you guys watch all the King of Downtown stuff, like he rarely dated somebody from his own uh, community or whatever. So he comes on this panel trying to act like an expert or whatever. But it seemed like he actually started falling asleep. I'm starting to get the vibe that they probably bought him on the panel to uh like organic is supposed to be like some type of kevin samuels or something like that and he ended up you actually rarely hear him talk you rarely hear him talk on these panels but every time he talks they all kind of like get quiet or whatever so i guess they they kind of like have them they kind of like um portray him like kevin samuels like, I guess because he's probably the only one on the panel with the most amount of subscribers or something like that. So from that sense, he's like a, a much elevated personality or celebrity figure. So I guess they respect them in that sense. I don't know. But he just kind of gives me the vibes on their panel. Like he's supposed to be the subject matter expert like Kevin Samuels. <laughs> on how to handle men and money in dating and relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so give okay. us an overview. Yeah, I know there's more to yeah. come, but give us an overview of, of what this book explains and teaches. So this book, the title makes you believe that it's about gold digging, right? But it's really not. It's me teaching women how to be comfortable having conversations with men surrounding their wants, their needs, and anything that they want to have a conversation with them about because women are very intimidated. when it. Um, that's kind of the same conversation. 
you're saying that the book that she wrote is not about um, giving off the impression that, you know, you're looking for a sugar daddy, but it's also helping you on how to approach men and talk about your wants and needs, which most women that that just kind of equates to money. So it just I guess it's a different way of saying sugar daddy is the way she's explaining things like all these people now are suddenly turning into relationship gurus now. Organic is just turning into another relationship guru, and he's not even relation a relationship a relationship guru type of guy. Like he has a bad history whenever he gets into relationships. So I'm like, why would you have this personality on there? They clearly don't watch his content. All right, obviously he doesn't really date in his community. His last relationship with Danielle was a hot mess. Like I don't understand, but I guess. I guess a lot of these like small base channels, um, they probably can't get anybody on a higher level to join on their on their podcast. So organic is probably a yes man. So he just accepts anything because he needs the money because they can't get anybody that's actually more intelligent. I'm speaking to men about almost anything. So this book is for me to help women figure out how to. Um, navigate around speaking up and also just putting a lot of stuff in perspective because like women do not feel comfortable asking for things because they think that it's going to make them look a certain way and then they also have a problem with rejection and like hearing no and you know so this book discusses all of that and then it also discusses relationship stuff in terms of like being in a relationship how you guys should and it's not that I tell people what it should be but it, it just puts stuff, it sorts it out for people because people think that there's just one cookie cutter thing like, oh, it's 50-50 or it's like, no, it's not 50-50 or, you know, like, but mm-hmm. it's really what works for you. But it gives you the opportunity to decide like, okay, what's best for me? Okay, so, so after you mm-hmm. wrote this book, what happened next? Well, it blew up. <laughs> it, it did very well because it was like medicine and candy, right? People ran to it thinking that it was going to like tell you how to get a sugar daddy and they're like, oh, snap. <laughs> like, it's That's really nice. Different. Like, things that you need to know for everyday life about all relationships. So, um, it did, it, it's been really circulating for seven years now. And, but through this time I went on tour twice with it. And the more that I speak to women, the more knowledge I gain about how people are handling their relationships with everybody, you know, like, and their dating life. And it made me write the second book, which is Mending Me, because I realized that a lot of the relationship issues aren't anything but individual issues, right? Yeah. So... That's how they're very different, but they kind of piggyback off of each other. So, okay. yeah. well, one kind of helps you think about it as a whole, but then the other one helps you dive into yourself to figure out what, yeah. how you're approaching that collective. Mm-hmm. Okay. And but the second one is not about relationships; it's about it's about general. Yourself, right? It's it's general, but it does help with relationships. But it also helps with like friends, family, coworkers, strangers. You know, like this podcast. Um, just my opinion. Um, it seems like it's okay with organic on there or not on there. Like it seems like they already got a good. Um, panel of people like the cast or whatever they're they're actually pretty good in their own unique way organic maybe organic just adds the um like the crazy factor in there you know his gargoyle edginess or whatever i mean he adds like some comedy to it but i feel like they they're kind of already on the right path like having organic on there really brings not a lot of value and it clearly doesn't do that well in terms of views like a lot of their videos they're like 2000 views over a month ago so i'm like surprised how they're able to operate like this like you're getting only 2000 views and they got like this full production there's a lot of people involved the editing um, like it just looks like high quality content, but it's not really, the numbers are just not there. It's, it's general and it's not for women. It's for men as well. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. First off, because I want to make it clear that I know who you are. I mm-hmm. know that you know what you're talking mm-hmm. about, but to a viewer that hasn't watched mm-hmm. or a viewer that's not familiar with you, I want them to know that you're not just sitting here just, mm-hmm. just you know, winging yeah. it, okay? Yeah. Tell us what makes you an expert mm-hmm. in this field. So I've done 10 years of therapy. I've done so much research. I, I went to college for, psych, you know, for psychology. I'm very, very well-versed in mental health. Um, I'm not a therapist, and I don't want to be. I'm like pre-therapy because I do... Hold on. So 
hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so she's not a therapist, but she does therapy? What? Do, do you guys understand that? She said, I'm not a therapist, but I do therapy. So does that mean like you can be a doctor without being a doctor, not without having a license to be a doctor? Or better yet, like a better example, can I, can you drive a car without having a driver's license? I mean, I guess you could, but then if you do get caught, um, you know where you're heading. So it's kind of weird that, um, you know, like the host or whatever, she's asking her guest who I guess wrote a book about relationships and shit like that. That's the one I mentioned earlier, the M in men stands for money or whatever. And um, her expertise is, well, I'm not a therapist. But I I do provide therapy. It's like, that just sounds like organic all over again. Organic is supposed to be an expert. And and flashing off this multi-million dollar lifestyle. Only to come to find out it's all rented. And he's made it off of uh, questionable products and services. Let me hear this part again. Mm -hmm. But to a viewer that hasn't watched Mm -hmm. or a viewer that's not familiar with you, I want them to know that you're not just sitting here just, Mm -hmm. just, you know, winging it. Okay. Tell us what makes you an expert Mm -hmm. in this field. So I've done 10 years of therapy. I've done so much research. I I went to college for, you know, for psychology. I'm very, very well versed in mental health. Um, I'm not a therapist and I don't want to be. I'm like pre-therapy because I do relationship and dating counseling. Well, I call it, it's advice calls, right? Some people get really touchy when I say the counseling call thing because they're like, you're not a counselor. I'm like, I don't want to be a counselor. <laughs> I took counselors to give advice. But it's real, life is the best experience. Like, it's real. Okay. I think we got enough now. So she's not a therapist. She's not um, a counselor. But she does provide therapy and counseling to relationships. Now, now it makes sense. So that right there kind of summarizes the kind of show this is so you're bringing in alleged experts right that claim to have therapy experience but they're not therapists and they're not counselors so like if you're in the field like she says like she has all this experience right so if you're doing something for such a long time and you feel really confident in what you do and you do it pretty well why not just get the credentials to legitimize what you are doing You know, like I get it if you're like just testing the waters to see if this is a good fit for you professionally and you'll do it for like six months a year. And then you're like, nope, this is not what I really want to do with my uh, professionally. But if you're doing it professionally for this long, why not get the credentials just to legitimize your services or your offerings? But when you say I'm not really a I'm not a therapist, I'm not a counselor, but I do counsel. So. It's just weird. That would be like somebody says, I practice medicine. I've been doing it for 10 years, but I'm not a real doctor. It's like, what? That's crazy, man. That's, but I guess that's the type of show this is. This is another show about relationships and they got this goofball organic on there. So it kind of makes sense now. Cause I was like, why is this show? Why is this new podcast not getting a lot of views? I thought a lot of people would be tuning in or whatever, but. I guess we got to know why in the first few minutes. Now, this person isn't part of their panel, but they're, they are a guest. But um, I know I wouldn't like... If I was in the business of podcast, I would probably want to bring people that are experts, that are cred- credentialed, licensed, like subject matter experts. I'm not going to just bring somebody that says, well... I know a lot about medicine, but I've never been to medical school. I'm not a doctor. I'm not licensed. I'm not board certified. I just feel like I know enough about medicine to talk about medicine. That just sounds stupid and makes you look stupid. And that's just that type of vibes I'm getting now. So now I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Why they got this goofy organic on there. Everything now makes more sense now. But yeah, so not watching that crap. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree, disagree? Let me know your opinion in the comments.